Welcome to Sporty News London Special. Coming up, Teddy Rayner's secret weapon. Johan Blake and Tyson Gay await Usain Bolt. We get the gossip on Oscar Pistorius. The public practice the hammer. And Jessica Ennis isn't superstitious. Five-time judo world champion Teddy Rayner is going for gold in London. But what gives him that edge? Listening to music on my headphones puts me in the zone. I choose music that I love or that motivates me so the pressure can't get to me. No chance of anything on the outside getting in. So what is on Teddy Rayner's MP3 player? There's a bit of everything. Dancehall, Zouk, R&B, hip-hop and even some classical. I'm someone who listens to all kinds of music. I've selected certain tunes for the playlist. I've got Lloyd Banks and Trav, I don't remember his name, Usher's Climax, and that's about it at the moment, and Saxion Dassault as well. The playlist of a warrior on a mission. The Bolt, the Beast and the Wise Old Man will compete for 100 meter gold. But how will Johan Blake and the second fastest man ever, Tyson Gay, turn up the pressure on Usain? And how did Blake become the Beast? Some people say, you know, the Beast is bad, but I'm on the track, yes, the Beast is bad on the track. But off the track, he's different, he's a calm guy. But the Beast is something that developed over years, you know, from my training. Because when I'm training, I train like the Beast. That's why you saying give me that name, say the Beast. Tyson Gay is almost 30, but his steely air of experience may just upset the favorites. I'm only really focused on these games. I'm not really worrying about my age. I'm not really worried about 2016, anything like that. Youngster Blake may not yet have developed the ruthlessness to win on the biggest stage. I try to talk to everybody, even the madman on the road, I talk to them because everybody's the same. Um, I don't really treat people bad. Um, I want to help poor people, so that's where I'm really focusing on right now. We still try to be active, you know, outside of track and field. And because of that, you know, he, you know, he, he, he maintained his association with, you know, with, with people who are, you know, in a lower class than himself. Some experts give Gay the edge. I think he's a dark horse. I think. If he gets it right, he could split the big two in Johan Blake and Usain Bolt. Former 100 meter world record holder, Maurice Green, also offered his opinion. I think Blake is, has a better technical race than everybody else out there. So I pick him to win. Is Blake in the ascendancy? We'll soon see. Oscar Pistorius will have a smile on his face when he lines up for his first 400 meter race at the Olympic Games. The former Paralympic champion is breaking new ground in track and field. It will be a dream come true for the South African, who had both legs amputated aged only 11 months. Whatever the outcome on Saturday, Pistorius has already won. You must just remember that life isn't as serious as we, we think it is. Um, one of my sporting heroes is a, is a MotoGP rider, Valentino Rossi, and the reason why I respect him so much is because he's a true professional, but you know when he gets off the track, you always see him get up to jokes and, and you know, have yeah. a good sense of humour. The downside of being so high profile is the constant rumour mill. Pistorius is set to enter the history books. And all this Russian journalist wants to know about is his relationship with model Anastasia Kozisova. We were just friends and we met briefly in New York. Uh, I think, I don't know who came up with the fact that we were, or the thought that we were dating, but that's not true. <laughs> And now for our fan of the day. Happy and smiley, London fans are in a great mood. So let's get a lesson in the hammer throw. Here we go. Only five days until the starting gun. We know that some athletes are superstitious, but not the Team GB track team. I've removed any form of anything that can take my focus away from competing. So I used to wear the long socks, and that's something that's quite important to me, but then I removed that. Um, so for me, I decided to get rid of everything, just so there's nothing that could take my focus away, to be honest. So mine's quite boring. 
I'm not very superstitious. Uh, I refuse to believe that the order I put my socks on can make a difference as to how well I hurt. Um, so I, I don't have any, sorry. I'm pretty boring as well. I think it's true if you have too many little superstitious things that you do and something goes wrong, that could really throw you off on race day. So I might have some little ones that I'm not as aware of, but um, try to limit them. Sporty News London Special signing off. We'll be back soon.